Hello Cancers and welcome back to my channel Lumen Moon Tarot. Hi my darlings. So listen, um, yeah boy do I have a song for you guys. Um, your person is really wanting to escape this devil energy, okay? But um, let me get through my spiel and we're going to get right into it. <laughs> Um, this reading, this is your like everyday, your daily love update, right? Um, this reading is for the collective. It's not going to resonate with everyone. If it doesn't resonate with you, it's okay. Don't panic. Um, you know, just take what resonates and leave what doesn't, okay? You'll know if it's your story or not. Um, but if you like this video and um, and it resonates with you, please go ahead, click that like button, subscribe to my channel, help me grow, A like, subscribe, comment, share. We're growing together here, guys. Yeah, and I think it's freaking amazing. Um, and this channel is for adults only too. Okay, so Cancers, your person is trying to get away from devil energy and... Um, Bishmela, no, we will not let you go, let him go. Bishmela, we will not let you go, let him go. It's Bohemian Rhapsody. Never, 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 never let me go. No, 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 no. Oh, mamma mia, mamma mia, mamma mia, let me go. Beelzebub has the devil put aside for me, for me, for me, right? <laughs> it's the song. Um, yeah, and uh, is this the real life? Is this just fantasy? Caught in a landslide, no escape from reality. They can't, they can see, it seems like they want to leave, they really want to leave, but the devil has a hold of them wherever they are. And they're, they're like drained, they're scared. This dragon is cowering, cowering. They're afraid of whoever it is they're with. They're afraid of any kind of backlash. They really want to get out of there, right? Um, but someone, you know, here it is. They, they want to wave. Yeah, this is, this is it. This is who they're afraid of. This person with the segmented personality here. Boom. <laughs> Thank you, Divine. Yeah, this is what they're afraid of. Because that person, their person that they're with, that's a little nutty. Um, w wants to fix this permanently. Be it's about money. They want the money. They need the money. It's about the money. Your person's a money maker. And whoever they're with, with this, I call this a segmented personality. So this person, like, they're not themselves at any given time. One minute they're proper and they're fine and everything's cool, right? And then the next second, they like freak out over something really tiny and just like spaz out, like bleh, right? So like, this is a very unpredictable person who can have these momentary mental crazy lapses or something, I don't know. But your person's had enough of this crap. They wanna get away from this. They know, they know that it's, it's this devil energy that's been stopping them from contacting you, from speaking their truth. Um, this person's been, you know, balancing on something very thin here while they lean on this devil. Now this devil here, if you can see it, it's got this sword. It's the only sword in the picture. That's the sword that your person needs to pick up. And they need to communicate their truth, but something, the devil puts something to prop their hand up instead like in a sneaky way, like, I don't know, maybe your person is on drugs or something, you know, and it made them balance this thing instead of communicating. And now the devil has a hold of this sword. So your person feels like they can't communicate. They can't cut something out and they want to really bad, but they're afraid of the backlash from this devil, from whoever the sneaky person is living with them <laughs> thank you again divine who's taking their money oh my gosh what did i just say what did i just say oh this is about money cancer i just love this i love it when the divine is just like here you go here you go 
<laughs> Thank you. <sighs> Thank you. Anyway, yeah, um, this, wherever your person is in, it's all about money. Uh, and whoever is in this household with them, your person's gotten red flags on this before. And maybe one huge message here from the divine. A tower moment maybe, or some kind of scary moment perhaps. But it, this, whoever they're with, it's all about money. Look, watch, they want to fix this because it's all about the bread. It's all about money. They want to fix this. They don't want to put in any effort. Look, no effort, none. Tiny little effort, but it's in reverse now. They're not putting forth any effort. Maybe that's your person not putting forth any effort. or what well, I don't know. Take it however it resonates with you. But this dragon is cowering. I feel like they may be low on health, too. I also feel like they burnt their own tail because it's burnt from like here all the way. It's almost like this person's zest for life is quickly leaving in this situation and it's really kind of sad. It's a dead situation. I feel also like they, they may be concerned about this thing dying with you. They want to come towards you. They want to walk away from this um, person with them. I feel like it's like a chemical imbalance maybe. They have, whoever they're with has possibly has a chemical imbalance or really extreme bipolar or something is not right there. They just freak out. And I think that your person wants to say goodbye and even possibly give them the finger, but they're afraid that there will be an attack. And your person's equally afraid that this is over with you because they know they made you wait too long and you're not waiting anymore. That's what I'm feeling. This thing with you, Cancer, is coming to an end because you're not waiting anymore. You could be dealing with a Scorpio here or a Capricorn. Um, I'm going to try to get to the Cancer versus Capricorn today, by the way. Um, but yeah, this person has been watching you. Like a hawk, having something to say but holding back communication because they're afraid of this other person that they're with, freaking out, snapping, okay, and having backlash and coming after them. I feel like your person may be being watched with whoever they're with. They know this connection is a twin flame soulmate connection, but if they don't do something about this and they let it end, it's going to get kind of turned on its ear. Yeah, they're fully aware here um, of all of this. But let's, you know what, let's just go ahead and do a flash reading. <laughs> you know what's on the bottom. Oh, and they're coming through. They're coming in. But you're being very, very protective right now. You're in your protective energy. You're, you're like, now, wait a minute. You don't trust this person. I think they know that, too. They're, they kind of went and got themselves squished in a tiny little space that they can't get out of. At least they can't get out of it easy. They have to face this backlash, you know? Um, yeah. If they want to come to you, if they don't come to you, they've already kept you waiting long enough. You're not waiting anymore. This thing is ending. But they're still watching you like a hawk. That's Creepy McCreeperson. We're going to set these over here. I'm going to start with the baby deck. Let's just do a flash reading, Cancer. Why not? I feel like, yeah, you could be dealing with a Virgo. Um, Virgo, Gemini, or Aries. But this person is trying to change something. I feel like they're making a plan. I feel like there's something in the works here. Maybe a plan to get away. Uh, in the song, too, towards the end especially, it feels like this person feels like giving up. Nothing really matters. Anyone can see. Nothing really matters to me. You know what I mean? Like, they kind of are like really exhausted, really tired. Look. Nothing really matters. Anyone can see. Nothing really matters. Nothing really matters to me. Right. That's kind of, I mean, it's almost like they go day to day, day to day, just living the same old day to day. And they hurt 
over this because I feel like they want to come to you, Cancer, and they want to get out of this devil energy. They just don't know how to do either. And it feels like everything around this person is coming to an end because they sat on it for too long. It's, you know, yeah, you're protective. That's you being protective. You're like, yep, I know. There you are again. They want me to take it out. I feel like, you know, either you or your person need to get out and focus on the fun. I'm really feeling a lot of depression off of your person, frustration and fear, exhaustion. Um, I feel like maybe you need to stop working so hard. I feel like you're working and working and working and working to feed all of these, all of your kids here or build something that you're creating. Do you know what I mean? And you're just working. Look, she just appears like she's been sweaty or something. You're working yourself into a sweat. I think both of you need to focus on having some fun and getting out there a little bit. Crap. Both of you do. I think your person losing their zest for life here, they need to get some sunlight on them, you know, or something. And and you, Cancer, you, you're you're working really hard and trying to protect everything that you've built. You know, you've got let the let it down for a day and maybe go do something fun. Okay, it'll be okay. Yeah, I feel like your person they went and got themselves committed to the devil. This is a toxic, possibly even abusive. Um, the commitment here it, it's showing me over here that your person is very upset they know they can't trust this other person they're scared they want to walk away but they're scared I think for a while your person was happy though it looks to me like you know or maybe there's a, a wedding coming up for these two but your person is you know they're fearful of this they know they've been with the devil what else can you show me on that one? You know, Bohemian Rhapsody, guys. Freddie Mercury. Queen. Maybe they treated this person like a queen. And now they know that it was evil They went, they, and toxic. Very toxic. And I think that could be part of it. They did p p uh, treat this person very well. I think they did. I think they did all that they could do. You know, your person is confused that so they don't know which direction to take here because everything seems to be dying. It's, it's ending with you because it took them too long. You're not waiting anymore. And it's ending with this because they can't, get, they can't wait to get away from this devil toxic energy. I feel like they just don't know which way to go, but an answer's coming in soon. Something's coming here. I feel like they've been watching you, actually. Maybe they've been getting answers from something they've been seeing with you because this is a beacon in all of this darkness. That's you, Cancer, that one little dot there. Yeah, that's you. I feel like they're making a wish for you and I feel like they're watching you but they're in a world of darkness but I do feel like this is something that's coming in cancer this is something coming in what's this because their relationship here is getting shot down your person's gonna be freed up here soon but whoever they're with is very clingy and I feel like this is how they feel on the inside, too. Your person, they may look really grumpy. They're probably walking around really grumpy, but they're literally screaming on the inside because they want to walk away. And they're dealing with somebody a little bit on the nutty side. And, you know, th that person is, like, screaming, and, please don't leave, clawing, trying to hang on to them for dear life. Yeah, that's what I'm getting in this one. That, that whoever they're with is very clingy and doing all that they can, and pulling out all the stops to hang on because they want this commitment because they want the money. This is about the money. 
fixing it for the bread remember and they're in this commitment for the money and we'll just lay these out here right now this is how your person feels this commitment is about money it's coming to an end your person's just scared all right what else can you show me here yeah they want to come to you I feel this is a this is a you card cancer okay and this is not a sexual card this is a healing a healing ability that you have cancer all right this person they what they want while they sit here and they think about this and live in the situation what they want is to they remember I said they're exhausted they're beat up they burnt their own tail here they want to come to you for healing okay this person's all gray you're the one with color here this person falls into your arms and all you have to do is touch them that's it and they feel better and that's why they want to come towards you it's your energy it's you cancer you know I feel like there's just so much though that they don't know uh, there's a lot hidden and I feel this intense like envy and jealousy like they really are envious that you're over there and they're over here in that do you know what I mean that they're they're kind of they want to be free too but there's so much about you they want to come to you they want to fall into your arms they need a little TLC actually is what this person needs after what they've been through really and I know you've been through a lot too cancer okay don't take me wrong there but look at this person I mean come on right they're completely drained by all of this and they want you to make them feel better but and they want to come to you but they just don't know what's going on around you like this person has no idea what's going on in your life what are they walking into how are you going to react to this you know because this person's been in a toxic relationship and they know they must have hurt you cancer we know the story because you're like this defending yourself they just don't know what to do they really don't know which way to go on this seriously well I guess what they should do is what they really need to do and speak the truth in this situation first you know but they're smoke screening they're covering it up they're they're hiding their emotions they're trying to hide I feel like <laughs> I feel like this is very thin and I feel like whoever that they're toxic, whoever's toxic that they're committed to can sense that your person wants to come to you. Your person may try to cover it up, you know, to keep things smoothed over because after all, they're de dealing with somebody who can wig out at any freaking moment in time for any reason, right? That's toxicity right there so they are trying to kinda keep things you know um, calm let's just say that so they have to cover up how they feel but I think this person over here um, can see kinda through it now I think they know and I think it's just making matters worse and that's why your person can't deal with it anymore they just can't but this this person here with these mental issues or whatever um, they're very clingy to your person your person's getting frustrated over that as well they're ready to walk away here but yeah they want I feel like honestly I feel like this is your person maybe feeling this about you but I kind of feel like it's this toxic person demanding that your person loves them love me this is like a demanding love okay this is like a radical kind of pushy love this isn't a sweetie sweet kind of love this is an obsessive love me love me kind of card and I think that's what's going on with this person that they're with yeah because that person can sense that your person wants to go to you because there's unfinished business with you 
and they this is much more colorful you know yeah they want to do over alright what else can you show me they do they want to come back around this is coming back around to do things the right way this is following the correct procession of things as well okay so your person wants to come back and do this the right way they, I, they feel like there's unfinished business here um, they're not to handle yourself use your head to handle others use your heart your person need they know they can't come to you with passion that's for sure okay they know they can't come to you with passion they need to come to you using their head and their heart not passion okay so I feel like this person is not coming towards you to this is not a sexual card at all and this is telling me and ixnay on the sex man your person just wants to tell you how they feel um, they really just want to tell you how they feel how they feel about you and share a moment I guess they really need your healing maybe it's kind of what I'm getting there let me switch decks um what do I want I want the mythology deck what's uh what's gonna happen with this person here show me more on cancer's person it's kind of a disturbing reading just because like your person has this great opportunity and has had the gr a great opportunity and they just let it slip for somebody who's who's nutty and they're losing a lot of money I mean basically they paid they paid a crazy person in order for them to lose their happiness in the future I mean what the what kind of crap is that you know yeah that's their karma though for third party situations that's their karma that they have to pay and this is kind of like an eye for an eye a tooth for a tooth this was definitely a third party situation where they wanted their cake and eat it too and now they, they don't get cake they don't get anything <laughs> it looks to me like everything is falling apart for your person and they just want you they just want you they want your healing they they know they had something colorful with you before and they just stopped it like at a dead halt it, they could have ghosted you could have abandoned you see they were coloring and then boop stopped and left left you with this and now they want to return they want to return to finish coloring this with you okay yeah, your person's suffering now. They realize what they let go. They they realize now what they've done to themselves, really, and you, but they're looking right now. This is a person who's looking at how they screwed themselves over. Okay, they screwed themselves over. This is what they did. And and they're realizing that. Which is great that they're realizing it, but you know, I don't know what action they plan on taking. What action does this person plan on taking, Divine? What can you show me here? Coming to your house. They could be, once they leave this person, once they leave here, they could be sleeping on somebody's couch or staying at a friend's house, you know, and I don't know other people are like what are you doing here and yeah they may even want a place to stay with you but I don't think so I feel like they may be rooming with a friend or sleeping on a couch somewhere but they're coming to you and this is something that you have been expecting okay you've been sitting here la 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 this is you in empress mode you know you're very abundant you're great on your own self-sufficient highly intuitive because you've been talking with the divine like when is this person going to make it right when are they going to make it right and that you know the divine you waited a long time because by the time this person shows up at your feet here someone else in your household or wherever you are is really really surprised that they're there they're like uh 
you'll never guess who just showed up. Yeah, that kind of thing, right? Because it's taken a while. It's taken too long. Remember, you stopped waiting. And here the divine is like, I, we know you've been waiting. Here they are. And here they are at your feet. Surprising other people, but not you. You're not surprised. You're like, hmm. Yeah. It may surprise you when they show up, but the divine, this is divine intervention, I feel, bringing your person to you. Uh, I, I per personally, it looks to me like they can't take much more of this devil energy. And they're getting ready to say goodbye to it anyway. They're just scared. They're worried about backlash, but, dude, I mean, they can face some backlash or they can suffer uh, 30, the next 30 years with karma. I mean, I don't know. Yeah, they want to come to you. They're looking back at you. They're holding on tight to your energy here. See, this connection is a twin flame soulmate connection and your person knows it. Well, it's either a twin flame soulmate connection or it's like a past life, really deep soulmate connection, okay? It's very, very intense. Your person, they've got one foot in, one foot out, okay? That's because they're still dealing with this crap up here. And a very, very clingy person that is not letting them go. I feel like your person has made attempts to kind of maybe try to leave, but I feel like they're dealing with clingy with some possible you know, chemical imbalance. But yeah, you were the perfect soulmate for this person. You were just cool. You were chill. You were relaxed. You were fun. You were cool. You were beautiful. You know, they maybe didn't know whether to arm wrestle you or kiss you. All right? That's how freaking cool you really were. <laughs> right? Just chilling. You know, you're always having this person's back. Right? Always there for your person when they needed you. Yeah. Just very peaceful person. And now they're, you know, they want to hang on to your energy before you leave. They know this thing is over because they made you wait too long. But they're looking back at you now, remembering, remembering the kind of soulmate that you were to them while they're living with somebody who's nutty. Nutty, demanding, clingy. They had you in this third party situation here, Cancer. And you were chained to this for a long time while they got to do whatever the heck they wanted. And now the Divine is coming in to free you from this. I think they already have because I think you're already kind of outy. And, um, and they're praying now to the Divine for forgiveness for what they did to you and what they've done with others. That's what I'm feeling like here. That's part of their karma. They're praying, please forgive me, please forgive me, please. And all, they just keep thinking about you, but full well knowing they had you chained to this third party energy bull crap. Mm hmm. Yes, they did. That's what they're paying for. That third party energy karma. Okay? Third party energy bull crap. So they get third-party energy karma for that. But they're not letting you go. You're the one that they're thinking of. It's you. You know, they don't know whether to arm wrestle you or kiss you, but either way, it's a challenge that they don't want to let go. Okay? This person really needs to boss up, though, and speak their freaking truth. Because, you know, it looks to me like you're already stronger than this person in that arena. Because <laughs> you're Cancer. You're moving forward. This is you, Cancer. Chariot. Moving forward. You're, you're following your divine path. And you're, you're not stopping. And you, they're looking back at you, but you're not looking back. You're not looking back at them. You're just moving forward. Being beautiful and peaceful and intuitive and abundant with great speed. I feel like you're determined, too. There's a determination to move out of this energy because, you know, as much as it looks like your person definitely is coming to you, you don't know that right now. 
and you're like, I'm gone, I'm leaving, it's done. I'm not wasting my time on this anymore. Yeah, I feel like your person could very well lose both of these soulmates, you know, and I'm saying that this other person, that we have oodles of soulmates. Did you know that? We, we meet people that are our soulmates all the time. This could very well be a soulmate, but I think it's a karmic one, and I think they need to go and get, like, a prescription for this. Seriously. I think you are a twin flame soulmate, a past life soulmate, a very deep soulmate, and you're a positive soulmate. Okay? And that's why your person is drawn to you. Especially after going through hell with this one. Um... But that was their decision, you know. I mean, you're still, you have every right to defend your stance on this. By all means. And it looks to me like you're just kind of moving forward. I don't, you're not up for, like, fighting or anything like that. You want peace. Like I said, you're peaceful, you're just chill, and you're just freaking cool. You're just freaking cool, Cancer. And you're not up for, you don't, well, you're up for it, but you're like, I don't want to. I don't want to fight with anybody. I don't want to deal with this crap at all. You know, it's like, this is stupid. I want to leave. You're not, you're, you don't want to fight. You don't want to wait. You don't want to fight. You don't want to get into any kind of freaking drama. You just want to be out. And your person can feel that energy leaving. And they're holding on to your energy because they don't want you to go anywhere. They want to get on this ship and they want to go to calmer waters, but whenever they try to, it's like it's all kinds of messed up. We've got like a cross-dresser over here um, that may resonate with someone. I feel like if they get in this boat, if they get in this boat, they're going to get attacked. If they get, if they get in their car to come to you, there's going to be some kind of attack. There will be some kind of attack, like right when they reach you. That's what I'm feeling like. This person's about to be stabbed in the back here. Yeah, I feel like they want to come to you though. But they're scared. They're scared. Some of you could actually be making a house move here. You could be moving away. This is forward movement, but it could also mean moving away to someplace else and your person would want to go and follow you, but they're afraid that they're going to get stabbed in the back if they do. I, this karmic, this crazy, I, I don't want to keep saying crazy, this person with the mental issues, um, they may have something over your person's head, maybe holding something over their head, because your person feels if they get on this boat to come to you, they're going to get stabbed in the back. So, take that however it resonates. Cancer, why are my readings always such a mess? I've been trying so hard to be clean and neat and... I get on a flash reading. This one wants to come up. Yeah, they want to come up. This is Persephone. Did you see it pop up in my deck? It got all, and I'm like, this one wants to pop up, like come up. This is Persephone coming up from the underworld, a.k.a. hell. Your person has been in a hell with this person that makes it a living hell because of their unpredictability, because of them freaking out over things. They, they totally just wig out at any moment. I feel like it makes it very difficult for your person and they want to come back to you. This is Persephone coming back to the light, the sun, the happiness. Okay, your person wants to come back to you, Cancer. Yeah, but the question is, I mean, you're about ready to take a new, a new leap in, of faith. A brand new journey, a brand new direction, and one of your directives is getting something that's freaking loyal to you. Loyal. Loyalty. That's what you want. 
is something loyal to you. Some of you could be pregnant or you're just creating something new, like birthing new ideas, a new business perhaps. But yeah, I feel like this is you. Your person wants to come to you, but you're about to start a new, a new venture all on your own. I mean, man, it's just coming down to the freaking wire here, you know? It's like, dude, we don't, okay, for your person cancer, we don't know how much time they have left, all right? There's divine timing in this. There's divine timing in everything. Um, and so, you know, we don't really know. Your person could be completely out of time. Um, yeah, we've been getting nothing but signs that it's, that time's up. The new cycle has to begin. There's no more waiting around. But, I, you know, divine timing is a bit longer, and I can't answer that question because I think it's all on an individual basis. But it feels to me like you're about ready to leave, and they want you. And you want something loyal, period. So I don't know, I guess, it, take it how it resonates with you, but will they make it to you in time? That's the big question. Will this person now make it to you in time? I think all they have to do is open up. You know, cancers, I think all they have to do is really just open up, give you some clarity. I dumped on the floor. Yeah. That was my fault though, but we, that that's what fell on the floor, but that was my fault because I bashed the edge of the table. Um, yeah, but this one, you know, this is your person. I feel like your person's kind of lost and naked. Everything about their situations is coming to a light. Everything about their patterns of behavior is coming to the light. Um, everything about this person that they're with is coming to the light. And I think this person's kind of wondering, what is for me? What's for me? You know, the beginning of Bohemian Rhapsody. The, what were the first words again? Um, is this the real life? Is this just fantasy? Right? What's for me? I feel like this person is saying, because they see you taking a new beginning. They know they can't stay here. I think your person needs to get in touch with the divine and figure out what the crap is going on. Because you know what? They you know, they may just be watching you go and saying that one was for me. Either way, this person's never going to be able to let go of your energy. They're just not. They're coming. I can just feel it. I think this is your person just like Or maybe they see you taking a new, walking off into a new beginning, and yeah, that was, they were supposed to go on this new journey with you. They know that. That was supposed to be for me. That was supposed to be for me. That was supposed to be for me. Look, that was supposed to be for me. That perfect soulmate, that was supposed to be for me. That perfect soulmate taking that leap of faith and all that loyalty, that was supposed to be for me. You know, seriously. This is how your person's feeling. Now they're getting twinges of like, um, like self-sabotage, like victim mentality kind of, but they did it to themselves. They did it to, they, they, this is them getting their karma and learning from it. I'm in no way joking. And this is just two, maybe three of my flash decks. Um, what else can you show me? Yeah. Oh, thank you, Divine. <laughs> Remember, this, this was supposed to be for me. This soulmate, you, Cancer, your person knows you were supposed to be together. You know why? Because I really feel like you're a twin flame soulmate. This is your twin flame here. If not, it's just a past life soulmate, okay? 
but yeah I mean that's very very strong but yeah you guys I feel like your person knows you were you were meant for them and they were meant for you and they're coming this is Gaia this is creation this is God and the divine out here okay this is like a twin flame soulmate connection card right here Gaia the universe your person knows how strong and powerful this connection is and they know that you are for them and they are for you they freaking know it they know yeah Cancers, you know, I'm going to go into an extended and figure out what exactly this person plans on doing. Because, yeah, they know they're still, this one here is still in contemplative mode, but everything is coming to the surface, which is exactly, that's about the right time. Yeah, we all expected this to happen. Um, if you look through all of the other, like any other tarot readers, they're all saying the same thing. It's, this is like, it's all conglomerating into one kind of you know yeah it's time it's time for unions it's time for people to suffer their karma it's time for people to split and and um, get rid of and cut out things that no longer serve them and are toxic it's time says the divine of all creation your person knows you were meant for them and they were meant for you all right yeah I'm gonna take this into the extended I need to see what this person's gonna do okay so if you guys like this video like subscribe comment share the whole nine skies keep me growing I hit 20k that was my dream when I started watching tarot and you guys helped me freaking get there. Please, man, please keep plugging because I'm going to keep putting out videos for you. I'm going to keep helping you. I'm sticking with you whether you like it or not, right? Whether you click the like button or not, I'm going to freaking be here for you, Cancer. You guys got me up to freaking 20K subscribers. Are you kidding me? Woo! Yeah, that's what I'm talking about. So if you like this video, keep it going, guys. Keep it going. Go ahead, click that like button, subscribe. We got to celebrate this this stuff together. I don't know how to celebrate it. <laughs> the only thing I can do is keep keep going with messages. You know, every all the readers are. All we can do is just.